What is going on nerds? Mark here back with a new tech video and today we have quite the smaller product on screen and that product is going to be the V850 SFX small PSU from Cooler Master. Just want to say a shout out to Cooler Master once again for sending me out some product to review. Always appreciate the work with you guys. But today we're going to have quite the smaller product. Like I said, I never reviewed a small PSU like this made for ITX cases. I'm going to install this and review on a smaller case later. It's not going to be an ITX case, but it's going to be on the smaller side. So it should clear up some space in that build. But nonetheless, we're gonna unbox first this power supply. And the cool thing about this power supply is that it is brand new to the market, therefore giving you the cable to use 40 series GPUs, like the new adapter thing, whatever you wanna call it. This is gonna be our bracket if you wanna mount it in certain types of builds. Instead of putting the power supply on the bottom of the case, you could put it like on the wall or something or the side. I'm not gonna open up all these bags. I'll use the footage to tell that story here. They'd rather just give you a big bag full of cables rather than having them individually wrapped, which I guess is fine, but I've never seen that before. Maybe it makes some space back in the box, but look at that. We have just have a cluster of cables in there. We're gonna have our motherboard supply cable here. This is our main power cable, three prong, looking like a SATA cable, CPU cable, peripheral cable, PCIe, more SATA cable. So that's two SATA cables, two PCIe cables, 450 watt GPU adapter for the new higher end graphics cards. That is gonna be it for wires. Last but not least, we do have the power supply reveal. There it is. Bam. Box on the ground. And that thing is tiny. Let me just tell you, this thing is no joke. It's also pretty heavy for the size, which I guess means they packed all that quality in there. But look at the size of this compared to like my hand. My hand is like almost twice the size of this thing. Pretty cool to have in your hand. Like I'm used to all this larger hardware and then I hold this and I'm like, this thing has the same power. Here is a look at the connectors that we do have. We have a variety packed on there. You know, I mean, it's all the normal stuff, but it's kind of, it just looks nice because it's all clustered together. I don't know, something about this product is just nice to hold. Pretty robust build, I must say, like look at the, Pretty solid, I don't wanna break it, but seems a little bit more solid than like your typical power supply actually. Not by much, but just a little bit. This is an 850 watt and it's 80 plus gold rated if anyone was unsure by this point. The power switch is actually quite tiny. Cute nonetheless, has a little damage on it. I'm upset, Cooler Master. A little damage, a little chip. It's all right, it's all right. It's the first production run, it's all good, it's all good. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the unboxing section of this product, the V850 SFX. So thanks again, Cooler Master, for this power supply. We'll be reviewing and installing it into a case so we can kind of get an idea if this is a necessary buy. Stick around. This has been Mark from Noisy Pixel, and time for the review. The Cooler Master V850 SFX power supply is a small but powerful option for modern computer setups, offering Cooler Master's own take on small form PSUs. Many desktops are built smaller nowadays rather than the older times where bigger cases stole the show. Now it's all about minimalism and style, so it's important to have a PSU that can handle all of your components at any size. If you are a Cooler Master junkie or power hungry, you might have to buy this PSU, but it might be more than what you need. The V850 SFX PSU, sized normally for market standards, provides less room for your hands to install cables due to how close the ports are together. The construction of the internal Japanese capacitors and unique fan and cooling systems inside must leave less spacing externally. I would rather have a bit more room for my hands as competitors in this space seem to pull it off. Cable clip locks were a bit unsatisfying, lacking an audible click most of the time. To know that it is seated properly, I consistently unplugged and replugged power cables into the V850 itself during the build process due to uncertainty. Not to mention, these cables were exceptionally a pain to remove as well. So just be aware of this when committing to seating cables and hardware. The Cooler Master V850 is notably heavier than other SFX PSUs out there at around 3 pounds, which although can be less qualifying for a smaller, lighter build, we can expect higher quality materials which hopefully manage heat better. It is a toss up being I'm not an engineer, but usually a little weight doesn't hurt, bringing about a placebo of premium to light 
too plasticky. The power supply unit looks plain and uninteresting if you can't see the fan and logo side. It's just a simple matte black like most PSUs. It's also extremely quiet unlike other fans typically pre-installed in a PC. The only noise I hear in this current build I have is the GPU fans and a small hiss from the aftermarket fans. The PSU itself is really well made but the cables it comes with look pretty basic and not very exciting. I've gotten used to a more modern looking cable. You have to use all of the power cables that come with this power supply as we found out the hard way after spending an hour troubleshooting why our build wasn't getting any power. Turns out we forgot to switch out the old SATA power cables which messed things up. The voltage output and frequency need to match what the PSU requires. This is one of the few PSUs I could find especially in the SFX size that supports the next gen PCI 5 technology at 450 watts which is a nice bonus. I've seen builds that need 500 watts but this PSU gives you plenty of power to exceed that crucial 400 watt mark. In our analysis of the Cooler Messer V850, we installed a 3-pin 3080 GPU and tested it by playing the popular game The Finals at 144 frames and on a 1440p display. The V850 provided our 3080 with a steady power level of around 80% while the GPU was running at about 95% of its capacity, which is typical for this setup. This demonstrates how well the PSU and GPU work together, leaving room for overclocking and additional power if needed on those spikes. Based on our measurements, the GPU reached a maximum power usage of 380 watts, even considering the power draw from our CPU, which averaged about 90 watts with occasional spikes up to 120. There's still plenty of power left over that the PSU can handle. This also leaves headroom for power spikes and more intense hardware. This leads me to believe that unless you are buying a 40 series graphics card, granted this PSU is competitively priced around 150 USD, it might just be a heavier weighted option for those buying 30 series cards cards and under. The Cooler Master V850 might still come out on top despite some small issues, and there are two key reasons for that. Firstly, it supports PCI5 cabling, and secondly, it's priced similarly to less capable PSUs on the market. Yes, it's heavier than some others, but it offers more features for the same price if you can overlook the extra weight. The product is a bit contradictory though, meant for portable PCs but heavier than many other PSUs out there. Still, it might be your best considering it offers more features than any other PSUs, including support for next-gen technology. Are you willing to sacrifice future-proofing your SFX build for a little extra weight? You could probably get by with a 750-watt PSU with a 40-series card if it has PCI-5, but it's unlikely manufacturers would make or sell units at this wattage, as we often end up buying more than what we need. The V850 SFX is a great example of this. Although the Cooler Master V850 SFX has some drawbacks like its tight layout, weight, and plain appearance compared to similarly priced options, none of them offer 450 watt GPU cabling. If Cooler Master keeps up with the pace in this new trend, there'll be tough competition for others in the market. Noisy Pixel is giving the Cooler Master V850 SFX power supply an A-. If SFX PSUs were more affordable or priced competitively with ATX PSUs, there would be little reason to opt for larger parts. Compact is the current trend, especially if performance remains equal, but the allure of a $100 PSU, even if it's three times the size, is hard to ignore. Larger PSUs likely offer better heat management due to their size as well. We can hope for advancements in microtechnology, but the market is likely hindered by material costs and practicality considerations. Time will tell, but holding a small PSU that can output 850 watts in your hand is truly impressive, especially for someone like me who's been around the block a few times. Thank you for watching. Noisy Pixel is a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content. See ya, nerds. Noisy Pixel.